EasySchedule is LeashTime's primary tool for scheduling a finite set of visits, as opposed to an ongoing schedule of visits with no end in sight. If you know when the visits are to start and when the last visit will be, then EasySchedule is the tool for you. This video will show you how to create an easy schedule. Let's say a client, Allie Bake, calls and wants her dog Sammy walked while she goes away on vacation. She is leaving on the afternoon of September 25th and returning the evening of October 10th. Her dog needs exercise three times a day. First, we find the client's profile by typing part of her name in the search box and choosing her name from the menu. This takes us directly to the Services tab of her client profile. Right at the top of the Services tab, there is a New Easy Schedule button. We click on it to create a new schedule. We start by entering the date range for the schedule. The quickest way to enter a date is to click on the calendar icon and then choose a date. Today's date appears in red and we can quickly choose a different month if necessary. To pick the date, simply click on it with the mouse. We pick September 25th and October 10th as our date range. Next, we select the sitter, who will perform most or all of the pet sitting. John has looked after Sammy before, so let's pick him. When we click the Create Schedule and Add Visits button, LeashTime shows us a calendar covering the date range we specified, so we can start adding visits. Sammy will need three walks a day and will need to be fed morning and evening. But Sammy won't need a morning or afternoon walk on the first day, or an evening walk on the last day. But to keep things simple, we'll start by making every day the same, and then just trim back services on the first and last days. First, the morning walk. We click on the plus sign button on the first day and set the time of the day for the visit. Clicking on the box opens the time of day dialog. We could set a custom start and end time here, but it's much quicker to pick one of the standard time windows, which you can set up elsewhere in leash time. We pick the service next, dog walk. John is pre-selected as the sitter, but we could pick another sitter if we liked. We can leave the pets field as it is in this case, or we can name Sammy as the lucky dog to be walked. Now we come to the copy to choice. This is a real time saver. Rather than create the same morning walk once for each and every day of the schedule, we can select all days here to have the visit copied to all the other days. We click Add Visit, and a moment later, we see Sammy's morning walk laid out on the calendar. Now we lay out the other services the same way. We click the plus sign and set up Sammy's afternoon walk and copy it to all days. Then we set up the evening walk. Sammy needs to eat while Allie is away, so we set up the feeding schedule in the morning first. Then we make dinner plans for Sammy. So we now have a full schedule set up for Sammy. Remember though, he needs service only in the evening of the first day and not in the evening of the last day. So let's trim those days. You will notice that there are two X's on each visit. The red X cancels a visit but does not delete it. The black X makes it go away entirely. So we delete the morning and afternoon visits on day one. On the last day, we delete the evening services and we are done, or almost done. What does Sammy eat and how much? We click on the Notes button to fill in these details. Half a can of dog food in the morning and half a cup of kibble for dinner. Also, as it turns out, John cannot walk Sammy on the first day of the schedule, so we have to reassign those visits. We click on the background of each visit to select it, and the borders turn red. 
Then we go to the Operations menu and select Reassign to. We pick another sitter from the list, and we now see that Ashley has been assigned Sammy's walks on the first day. The Operations, or Pick Something to Do menu, lists a number of other things you can do with the selected visits. You can, of course, change visits individually also. Click on the text of any visit to bring up the Easy Editor, and you can change any of the settings for that visit. The Show More Details button opens up more fields you can customize. It shows you the base charge and the pay rate for the service, and allows you to make a charge adjustment or a bonus payment to the sitter. You can also mark the visit completed or canceled from here. When the schedule is set up as it should be, we click the Save Changes button and return to Ali Bake's Services tab, which now shows all of the newly created visits. Down below the visits, in the Short-Term Schedules section, we see our new Easy Schedule, which we can review and edit further if necessary. Thanks for using Leash Time.